Hi friends, welcome to the pastor's study. This week we are looking at the Beatitudes, Matthew chapter 5, 1 through 12, as we think about how they affect our lives and what they mean for us today. I ran across a quote about the Beatitudes by Charles Cook I thought I'd read for you. He says, whenever we hear the Beatitudes, we are struck with their poetic beauty and at the same time overwhelmed by their perceived impracticality for the world in which we live. We admire the instruction, but we fear the implications of putting the words into actual practice. He has a way of saying that as we read the Beatitudes, we see their power. Yes, they are beautiful, but at the same time, they can be scary to think about who God is blessing and what it means for us in our everyday lives. It's also good, though, to know that our God is with us and teaching us and leading us. We're going to look today at two of the Beatitudes moving forward. Matthew chapter 5, verse 5 says, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And then Matthew 5, verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Now, what does this mean? Words like meek, that's not a word we throw around a whole lot. I heard a great definition of meek one time. It's meekness is power under control. A meekness is not weakness, but rather it is knowing our own power, knowing our own strengths, but yet controlling it and using it for the good of others, of other people. Uh, those that are meek are those who have renounced the violent methods of this world, those who would use their power to coerce others, those who would use their power for their own gain instead of the good of other people. So Jesus looks around and says, of people who are meek, of people who do not use the, the worldly means of coercion and violence, well, they will inherit the earth. You may think that the strong and the powerful and those who push their way to the front of the line, they're, they're going to get uh, the earth. They're going to get what's coming to them. Uh, but really, Jesus says, in God's kingdom, in the way God's going to do things, the meek, those who use their power for the good of others, those who don't use their power to coerce and to hurt, that they are the ones that God will give the earth to. That's what to inherit the earth means. It doesn't mean they're going to grasp it. It doesn't mean they're going to attain it through their own ability, but rather it's going to be given to them. It is something that God is going to do for them to honor their meekness, to honor their power under control. And what does it mean to hunger and thirst for righteousness? And there's no doubt that when Jesus said this, he was surrounded by people who were hungering and thirsting, both spiritually and physically. And to say, to say that it, they are hungering and thirsting for righteousness means they were hungering and thirsting for God. Righteousness in the Gospel of Matthew is a very important theme. And it means that it is those who want God's will in the world, those who want to see God's will done, those who want to see God lifted up and God's way honored. Blessed are those who hunger for this, who down to the very core of who they are, want what God wants for they will be filled. Another way of saying that, though, isn't just that they will be filled, as if it's just going to happen automatically, but really a better translation might be, for God will fill them. When we hunger, when we thirst, when we desire down to the core of who we are, what God wants, God will honor that. And just like God will honor the meek by letting them inherit the earth, the promise of eternal life, the, the promise of God's kingdom, God will honor those who hunger and thirst for his righteousness by satisfying them, by, in his time, bringing about true justice and mercy and peace and grace. In the Beatitudes, we see God's promise to never leave us and to walk with us even when it is difficult. I pray these words would encourage us today. See you tomorrow in the pastor's study.